Today's Forgotten Saints episode directly pairs with and leads into tomorrow morning's Sunday reading. So, without further ado, St. Nuno of St. Maria. St. Nuno Alvarez Pereira was born in the village of Balmajardin near Lisbon, Portugal on June 24, 1360. He was the illegitimate son of Brother Alvaro Goncalves Pereira, who was, a, who was a professed member of the Order of the Hospital or Knights of St. John of Jerusalem. Nuno's parents never married since his father was a professed member of a religious organization. Alvaro Goncalves Pereira had a total of 32 illegitimate children. Nuno's grandfather was the 97th Archbishop of Braga. About a year after his birth, Nuno's birth was legitimized by royal decree. This action enabled Nuno to receive a knightly education, which was the ex expectation for children born of nobility. At 13 years old, he became page to the queen, and he was created a knight. At the insistence of his father, Nuno, then 16, was married to a rich, young widow, Dona Leonor de Alvim. The couple had three children, but two of them died in early childhood. His daughter Beatrice married Alfonso, first Duke of Braganca, son of the King Zhao I, King John. In 1383, the then-King Fernando died without an heir. His brother John struggled for the throne with the King of Castile, who was married to John's sister. Nuno supported John because he did not want Portugal to be incorporated into Castile. Several of his brothers, however, supported the King of Castile. Throughout the war, Nuno displayed great valor. He was also acknowledged as a great military strategist. In 1384, he overcame the Castilians at the Battle of El Toleros. As a result, at 25 years of age, he was declared constable, a war supreme commander of the Portuguese army. The constable's courage and valor continued when, later in 1385, he won the Battle of Algebarota and brought the war to an end. Dom Nuno Alvarez Pereira became the national hero of Portugal. As a member of the nobility and as a soldier, he gained great wealth during his first 60-plus years. Throughout his long military career, he put the interests of his nation above his own and served his people in spite of any personal risk. Throughout his years as a soldier, Nuno lived a life of deep spirituality. On the field of battle, he would kneel and pray. He acknowledged his soldiers to receive the sacraments as often as they could. He discouraged them from participating in immoral activities that were so common among the soldiers of the day. His life of piety included an intense devotion to the Blessed Sacrament and to the Virgin Mary. He was totally dedicated to Mary in prayer, and he fasted in Mary's honor on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. His personal banner or standard was divided into four quadrants divided by a cross. In the quadrants was a depiction of Mary standing at the foot of the cross. Mary, Mother of God, and his two knightly role models, St. George and St. James. Nuno also did not keep his wealth to himself. He was generous to the poor and generous to the church. He built multiple churches dedicated to Our Lady throughout Portugal, including the Carmelite Church and Monastery in Lisbon. After peace finally came to Portugal, Nuno gave way most of his wealth to war veterans. Dom Nuno's wife died in 1387 when he was 27 years old. He chose not to remarry and lived a celibate lifestyle. This was a radical choice, but one built on his already acknowledged spiritual path. He dedicated himself to practices of chivalry, prayer, benevolence, and a living life inspired by the Gospels. When he was 63 years old, on August 15, 1423, Nuno entered the Carmel in Lisbon, a monastery that he had constructed years before. He wanted no special treatment because of his highly respected position among the nobility of Portugal or his brilliant, victorious military career. He entered Carmel as a lay brother and took the, br the name Brother Nuno of St. Mary. He only wanted to serve his lord and marry his patroness. In the rule of St. Albert, the rule followed by the Carmelites, chapter 19 speaks of spiritual armor. Nuno gave up the armor of war and took on the spiritual armor of Carmel. In his years as a Carmelite lay brother, he dedicated his life to serving the poor, and he organized a program for dispensing food to the poor and needy. He had built a military career, he was a member of nobility, and was a friend of kings. On his deathbed, he was visited by King John, who considered brother Nuno to be his best friend. That was no wonder, since it was Nuno who helped establish John as king in the royal house of Brancaga. As Brother Nuno was dying, he asked, the, he asked that the passion from John's gospel be read to him. As the reader spoke, Behold thy mother, Nuno Alvarez, constable of Portugal and Carmelite brother, died on Easter Sunday, April 1st, 1431. Upon his death, he was immediately considered a saint by the people who called him O Holy Constable. 
Even before his death, statues dedicated to his her heroism were erected throughout Portugal. As you might imagine, he was famed. He was famous for his holiness, which continued to grow, as did the amount of time required to process a, uh, process a canonization. That process was initiated immediately by the Portuguese sovereigns and then by the Carmelite order. Obstacles were many to this, but in 1894, the postulator general for the Carmelites introduced the process again. In 1918, Dom Nuno was beatified by Pope Benedict XV. He was canonized in 2009 by Pope Benedict XVI. And he is directly connected, in some small ways, to the message of Fatima. <laughs>